Hi, hello everyone, and welcome to this week's session with the angels and me, Christina. Uh, I just want to remind you um, quickly about um, this week. The series for Chicago 12, 12, 12 begins, and I will be part of those dates. Um, it's December 6th to the 12th, so the link and information will be um, underneath this video. So please, um, if you're interested, click. Um, hopefully you could join. Hopefully I will see you. Hopefully you'll attend for other people's um, presentations and um, special offerings that we will be having for Chicago 12, 12, 12. And as well, um, December 14th and December 15th here in Pilsen in Chicago, I will be having a toy drive with tarot readings. So all you have to do is um, donate a toy and you will receive a 15 minute reading with me. And um, there will also be Candelaria Spirit. Um, she will be giving rune readings on Saturday, December the 15th. So if you're curious about a rune reading, she will be there and again, just give a gift and you could receive the 15 minute session for free um so i just wanted to say that and share that with you guys so let's see what the angels have to say for this week um starting as always from the beginning of the week Ooh, so this is for monday tuesday and a bit of wednesday and here we have this beautiful divine card it says see only love and here it says look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So here the angels are saying that love is really the answer, and it, it's truly that simple and magical. So um, really open up your heart. Just as you see the angel here holding a heart with wings, hopefully you could give your heart wings so that it could um, open up, it could take you to higher levels, and really begin to heal with love. And like I said, it's really simple, but I think that's where we're all headed. And um, try to practice it. I know it's hard, but in every situation, Give love first, to be of love, know that you are love, and trust in it. Um, it's time for you to, you know, look past mistakes and misunderstandings because no matter what, we're all different. And we have to um, surpass those things knowing that we're headed to a better place, right? So, again, use love, see only love. Um, in the beginning of the week, but I also feel that this message is for um, the changes that we're going through. So really keep this in mind, okay? So now let's see what it says for the middle of the week. And here it says, new partner. And it says, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruitation of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So in the middle of the week, a lot of us, <laughs> everyone is going to receive a new person in your life. Now, this new partner could be a business partner, a friendship that will help you in ways that you never thought, um, even a new romantic partner. And it's really just, uh, up to you to being open to this possibility because it seems like these people have a purpose in our lives. And again, whether it's for business, whether it's for love, or even just, again, creating changes in your life that you need, um, be open to that. Know that it's no mistake. So during the middle of the week, if you bump into these familiar souls or spirits, know that the connection is meant to be and may it bring you all the blessings that um, you hope for. So, again, no coincidence here for the middle of the week. The angels are sending us people our way to help us, to shift us. Um, and, again, whether it's making that business connection that we needed, um, maybe it's an opportunity that we always waited for and this person offered it to us, or this person looks more like someone that is our soulmate when it comes to love and romance. So let's see where this is for the weekend. And here we have assertiveness. And it says, this situation can be healed gently with love as you 
as you requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving your strength and guiding your words. So again, the angels are reminding us in the weekend that things can be healed just by, again, using love. And it looks like we have to be assertive, though. So being assertive just means being truthful. Be as truthful as you can be and don't feel bad for what you have to say because that is your truth. So in the weekends, there might be things that you need to kind of address to people, whether it's loved ones, family, coworkers, neighbors, so on and so on. Um, it's okay to be vocal, again, because it's coming from your heart. And, again, the angels are here saying that they're there with you. You're not alone. They'll help you so you can pick the right words to say so you don't have to really necessarily hurt other people. But it is time, okay, for you to know that, in other words, another in other words, <laughs> to heal, right, the situation and to move forward, you have to use love and be assertive. So that's something that is going to help all of us. So just be aware of that. And thank you so much for joining me this week. Hopefully you guys can look underneath the video and click on the links with all the information for the Chicago 12 and the Toy Drive with Tarot Readings. Um, have a great new month. December is here. I'm so excited. Um, I'm also doing something on my Facebook page with um, healing, you know, healing with the angels, letting go, releasing for 2013. So hopefully you could be part of that if you go to my page. And again, I'll have that link. So God bless. Bye bye.